Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. So let me start off by apologizing because I'm doing this voiceover while I'm sick. So I'm probably gonna sound a little bit stuffy, but today I'm doing this rainbow eyeshadow look and I'm using the new um, After Shock eyeshadow palette from Bad Habit. So I'm just gonna get started like I normally do with my eyebrows and I'm filling those in with my Bella Pierre eyebrow gel and this gel is in the color licorice so I'm just using that to fill them in and I'm also using my LA Girl Pro concealer to clean up around my eyebrows Now once I have my eyebrows nice and neat, I'm going to go ahead and take my LA Girl Pro Conceal, actually this is the Pro Primer in white, and I'm going to use this as the base for my eyeshadow today since I'm working with bright colors. I want to make sure that they will pop as much as possible. So I'm just using a brush to place that all over my lid and then using my finger to blend it in nicely. And I'm also going to set this primer with my e.l.f. HD uh, transparent powder just to make sure that it doesn't crease up on me. So this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm talking about you guys. It's very bright and very pretty. And so I'm going to go ahead and start out with this first color which is the yellow. And it's called Electronica. And I'm just going to be placing that just below my brow bone using that kind of as my transition shade for this bright eyeshadow look. The second color I'm going to use is a bright pink shade and that is the color Tingle. And I'm going to place this just below that yellow shadow, but I'm making sure that I place that down very, very dark, as dark as I can get it because I want that bright pink to really pop in this look. But I'm also going in and making sure to blend that nicely, bringing it all the way to my inner corners. I'm just cleaning up my face a bit. With these eyeshadows, they do have quite a bit of fallout. I'm using a clean eyeshadow brush now to just go ahead and blend that yellow and pink together so that it's a nice blended look. I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm going to go ahead and do a cut crease for this look. I want to use some of the other bright colors on my eyelids. So I'm just taking that um, concealer and creating a nice round cut crease on my eyelid. And I'm going to start out with that bright yellow again. Just placing that in the very um, inner portion of my eyelid, I guess my tear duct area and trying to get that as nice and bright as possible. Now, in this palette, there's no bright green shade. There's a teal, but not a bright green. So I grabbed my Take Me Back to Brazil palette so I can use the bright green out of that palette. And I soon found out that this um, eyeshadow doesn't stick as well as I'd like it to stick. <laughs> so um, it took me a little while to build up that bright green shade to um, get it to the pigment that I wanted but I went ahead and just kept placing it on there until I got it nice and bright so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the aftershock palette and I'm taking that blue color light show and I'm placing that on my lid next now this shadow was a bit difficult to place as well because it's actually a shimmer shade it's not a matte shade and so I don't know why, but for some reason, it really didn't want to stick to that cut crease area. But I just went in and kept um, digging out the color and placing it down until I got it to look the way that I want it to look. And like I said, there's a lot of fallout <laughs> from this palette. Next, I'm going back into the palette and I'm going into the purple shade, which is called BPM. And I'm placing that on the outer corner of my eyelid. I had the same difficulties with the purple as I did with the blue because it is a shimmer shadow as well. I'm not sure why. I've never had any problems placing a shimmer shadow in my cut crease, but it took a while for me to build that color up 
to my liking. So anyways, now I'm going to move on to my face and I'm using my e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer and I'm just going to go ahead and place that over my face and make sure that I'm nice and hydrated. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Primer and I'm just going to use that to prime my face before I place my foundation on. But I'm going to do some color correcting so I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color orange just taking that and trying to cover up some of the dark areas around my mouth and under my eyes and blending that in with a beauty sponge. Now I can go ahead and use my foundation and today I am using LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in all over my face and make sure that it is nice and smooth to um, create my look today. I really like this foundation. Now I'm using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, of course, and this is in the color Deep Golden. And I'm just gonna use this to conceal and highlight in the usual areas on my face and blending it in with a small oval brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and contour also, so I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the color Espresso, and I'm just going to contour my cheeks and my forehead and also my jawline, and I'm using that same larger oval brush to blend in that contour just so that my face doesn't look completely flat. Now I'm using my Collab Loose Setting Powder. And I'm just using that to set the areas that I highlighted under my eyes, my nose and forehead. Um, I'm not going to bake with it. I'm just using it to set that concealer. Now I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte Poreless Powder. And I am just gently placing it uh, this all over my face just to warm my face back up and add even more dimension to it. This is my Milani um, Baked Blush and this is in the color Red, Fien Red Vino. And I'm using this to add some red to my cheeks, bring a little more color into my face. And once I have that done, I'm moving on to my Maybelline Master Chrome um, Highlighter. And this is in the color Molten Gold. This is my first time using this. I really wanted it, couldn't wait to get it. And I really like it. It's a nice subtle highlight. It's not too bold and it's not too mild. So I really like it. Now I'm going into this um, to finish off my eyes using this Wet n Wild Eye Pencil and this is in the color Sapphire Ice. And I'm going back into that palette and I'm grabbing that purple shade BPM and I'm using that to smoke out my lower lash line underneath that blue that I just placed there. I'm going to go ahead and throw on my eyeliner and mascara off camera and now I'm going to move on to my lips and I'm using this, it's kind of a mauve shade, <laughs> a mauve shade lip liner and I'm using my Makeup Forever um, liquid lipstick to go ahead and complete this look. So I really like it, kind of wanted a nice light nude lip. And I'm going to set this look with my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray and just go ahead and finish this look off. So this is the look that I came up with using this um, new Aftershock palette from Bad Habit. I really like the palette and I like the way the look came out even though I did have to put in a little bit of elbow grease to get these colors to pop but as you can see if you do use a white base you can get the colors to pop nicely and um, get a look like this so I hope you guys like it thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video guys toodles <laughs>